Inspired as a child when he witnessed glass blowing at Cedar Point, Matt Pasquette, a native to the glass city Toledo, Ohio, began a study of glass blowing at the Toledo Museum of Art in 1993. From there, he traveled to the state of Washington to continue his studies at the Pilchuck Glass School, to Barcelona to the Fundacio Center del Vidri, and refined his skills by assisting Chihuly's Boathouse Studio Team in 1999 to 2000. He returned to Toledo and in 2002 opened Fire Nation Glass Studio and Gallery in Holland, Ohio. He was recently awarded Best Independent Gallery and Best Visual Artist in Glass by the City Paper and is recently selected to be in the South Cobb Arts Alliance 32nd Annual National Juried Exhibition. Today I am here with glass artist and owner of Fire Nation Glass Studio and Gallery, Matt Pasquet. Hi Mr. Pasquet, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too Josh, thanks for coming out. So, can you share with us the process of creating a basic glass piece? Yes, I can. This is the basicest form whatsoever. Glass, as you know, can be made into enormous, beautiful, giant objects. But every piece always starts with either a punty or a blowpipe, which we have here, and some sort of tool to manipulate the glass. Let me do a quick demo for you. In the furnace is some 2,025 degree glass. Might want to back up just a little bit. It's going to be hot. Here is a gatherer glass. For every piece of glass we need to put, it's prepared for coming off the pipe. I'll come over here to you. So this is very rudimentary, but you can see how malleable the material is while it's hot. So what you need to do with every piece of glass, you need to prepare it to come off the, off the pipe. If we don't make a spot for this to come off, it isn't going to come off the blowpipe. This is just a simple pulled flower. But it's important that we put this away before it gets too cold. So right now I'll take this and put it in the annealing oven to cool off overnight. If I left this out, this is going to crack and explode because of the thermal shock. It needs to be put away in a 950 degree oven to cool down slowly overnight. So this is the quickest, pretty quick, no color, right at you. So we break it off there and we will put it away. Thanks for coming out. This is Joshua Danforth reporting for the Toledo Digital Media Club. To learn more about Matt Pasquette and Fire Nation, please join him for the Jolly in July Open House, July 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Fire Nation Glass Studio and Gallery. There, the public is invited to preview the 2019 Holiday Collection. You can also go to their website at www.firenation.com or visit their Facebook page, Fire Nation Glass, for more information.